and welcome to The Commendable Kind. My name is Celeste Page, and this is a place for all of you faith-based female entrepreneurs looking to become profitable and build meaningful businesses that glorify God. So if you are new here, thank you so much for joining me. And if you are not new here, again, thank you so much for joining me again. I'm so glad that you are back. So today we're gonna be talking about mistakes Christian creators make when creating content. So essentially our content is so valuable because it's the visualization of our brand. It's what people see the most of. So I wanna dive into some pitfalls that us, you know, common creators can fall into and how we can avoid them and you know, how we can just optimize our content to make it better. So let's dive into the first point. So as Christian creators, we can overthink our social media content. And I know this just by talking to so many of my friends who are also, you know, doing their businesses. And it just is this common thing of, we just have to make sure we're representing ourselves really good. What, how do we represent ourselves? And I feel like we can get in this mindset of like, oh my goodness, like it has to be perfect. Everything has to be, you know, better than what we expect. Well, number one, we should not have expectations. Uh, and, and I say that, and, and I really do mean that because when we are starting a business, there's gonna be moments where things are just not, not perfect. Things are not to our standards. And that shouldn't stop us from being consistent on social media and that shouldn't stop us from, from not posting at all, right? So definitely just don't have the expectations. Give yourself grace, you know? If you're not happy with, with the content that you posted, you know, if you really don't like it, of course don't post it. But if you're, if you, if you're just like, oh, I don't know, it's just not to that level that I want. I encourage you to still post it. I encourage you to still, you know, give yourself grace and just be a part of the process. This is the learning journey. You know, every single content creator, business owner starts from zilch nothing, right? So you're just in your learning process. You're in the learning growing phase. So my recommendation for you would be to just, you know, give yourself grace in these moments where you feel like your content isn't good enough and you're not meeting your expectations. Remember that authenticity is more important than perfection. So as long as you're being authentic to yourself and to your brand, lead with that. The second pitfall that I see a lot of Christian content creators make is they avoid SEO. Search engine optimization is so important. I urge you to learn what SEO is and how it can be such a leverage point for your business. Definitely don't overthink it. And if you don't know anything about SEO, I encourage you to take my free masterclass. The link is gonna be somewhere down here. And I actually dive into SEO and I explain it in a way that is so digestible, that is so simple. So definitely uh, go ahead and be sure to do that. You really need to understand what SEO is because that is a huge marketing strategy. There is this framework that I follow and it's called SAS. SAS stands for search engine optimization, advertisements, and SEO. Every single marketing strategy that you have is going to fall in one of those three categories. So just completely getting rid of SEO and not thinking it's important to your business goals, your business endeavor is absolutely wrong and you definitely need to be utilizing SEO in your business. The third pitfall that I have is a lot of Christian content creators only focus on posting on social media. And while it's really, really important to focus on creating social media content, what's more important is going to be building your email list, which actually comes from your SEO efforts. Why you wanna make sure that you're also focusing on your email list and having email campaigns and SMS text message campaigns is because you don't actually own the followers on your profile. Yes, that is your profile, but a platform like Instagram or TikTok or YouTube can take down your content. They can remove you completely. You can get hacked. There's so many ways in which social media can be a really unstable place to house a community. So you also wanna make sure that you're building an email list because if you have someone's name, email, and phone number, no one can take that away from you and you always have a direct line to communicate with them. Another tip that I have would be to build a community on your website. So there's actually tons of platforms that you could just drag and drop and build your own type of community and it doesn't have to be coded. You don't have to really hire anyone. So I would definitely urge you to do that as well because again, no one can take that platform away from you. And last but not least, the fourth pitfall that I have for you guys is not starting a blog. And again, having a blog falls into that SEO bucket. A blog is so, 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 so important because 
you can rank for different types of keywords. The reason why keywords are so important is because certain keywords are searched up on a month-to-month -month basis by thousands and thousands of people. So if you can find keywords that are really popular that people search up for on a month-to-month -month basis, and if you can rank on that first page of Google or any other search engine alike, the more you're gonna drive thousands and thousands of people to your website on a month-to-month -month basis. Okay guys, well, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed or found any type of value. I don't know why I'm doing this. If you found any type of value in today's video, I'm gonna close this out in prayer. So Heavenly Father, thank you so much for my sister. Lord, I pray that my sister on the other line learns something from this video and, and draws inspiration and takes something away that she can implement into her business. I pray a wall of fire around her mind, around her whole entire body and her business that she may do the things that glorify you within her, ve her ventures. Lord, I thank you for her life. Thank you, Lord, for using me as a mouthpiece. And thank you so much, Holy Spirit, for imparting your wisdom onto us. We love you. We honor you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Bye.